I spend at least two hours of driving every day. So every night I choose one lecture that I have to listen the next day. So only when I'm driving, I am able to finish sometimes one and sometimes a little bit more than one lectures of e either with a mostly Amrindra Prabhu, Moglila Prabhu, Adhikadada Prabhu. Uh, and then what I have do, I have been doing as per reading because I'm very weak at it. Uh, so I have made a, a rule of reading at least 15, 20 minutes a day in the afternoon when my little one sleeps. So uh, it also depends upon the length of the Purple Prabhuji. So if it is chapter 9 or 10 of Bhagavad Gita, it takes longer. Otherwise, I'm able to complete four, five shlokas every day. That's how I'm reading. And with Aradhya, after she comes from school in the afternoon, uh, we try to read Krishna book, the kids' Krishna book that they have. So this is all what is happening in reading and as per well listening to the lectures. Very nice, Madhavi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, who else? Ravi Prabhu. Ravi Prabhu, you would like to share? Yeah, Hare Krishna, everybody. Uh, like everybody is saying, uh, I have also been doing the practice. But lately, I have realized one thing that uh, I'm studying Gita with my, uh, with the group in local Jackson group. But also, I read one sloka to my family every morning in India. So what is, this is what it's doing to me is like once I have to read to them and explain them, it actually makes me understand way better than I was doing myself. So I prepare my sloka and day before that what I have to read is goes in order. So I will underline the book and I will make a point and then I try to explain them. It actually it is helping me to understand the same Gita that I have been reading for last 12 years. It's way more than what I was getting just by reading myself. That's my one observation. So I thought I'll share. And also the Bhagavatam is like so many cantos. So right now what I do is I read this book. Uh, it is actually a Srimad Bhagavatam in a story form. Yes. And it actually, uh, and it actually giving me a lot of uh, information and knowledge in terms of like a very beautiful story form. And actually, it, and the, what is happening is doing is when the girls, I read in the room where the, my two girls, they listen, they actually do some time yoga that time. So they are actually listening the story in the, you know, without even actively with me. Uh, they are getting benefit. They remember the character's name. So today, even the Kahoot Q, some of the answer that came because of the Bhagavatam that I was reading with them, not with them, but they're indirectly listening. So I'm thinking what, like, you know, even if we read, uh, and I, I just read like two, three pages from this book every day. So my routine is every morning I read 10 minutes Gita and 10 minutes uh, Bhagavatam. And uh, it actually it is giving uh, almost like a halfway through in this book. So if I had just planned to read like that, I thought I probably would not have done it. But I thought, let me just do 10 minutes every day. And as somebody has just mentioned, 10 minutes every day I read and I have gone through almost two thirds of the book. And uh, other than that, I do the same thing what every other devotee recommends, like listening to lecture while driving. And I listen to lecture not when I cook, because when I'm cooking, I try to put full focus on the cooking. Otherwise, the taste will be bad. So I listen to lectures when I'm actually cleaning my kitchen. So when I clean that time, I listen. That doesn't require much of my head. So I do my cleaning and lecture listening. Hari Bo. Three times Hari Bo, Ravi Prabhu. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Excellent idea. Okay. So who who wanted to share next? Sushant Prabhu. Yes. Go ahead. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, Prabhuji, I, uh, in the morning time, generally I focus the reading for myself. So I read uh, a specific time. I focus on reading uh, at least means my routine is like four sloka every day. And uh, once uh, Atul Prabhu uh, suggested that don't just read, study it. So nowadays my Bhagavad Gita is full of that uh, highlighter marking. <laughs> Previously it was not like that. And secondly, I select every day one sloka sequentially. Now I'm in the ch chapter 12. I keep that sloka with meaning and the Veda, Veda based link in my what, WhatsApp status. 
so many people those who are not aware of krishna and bhagavad gita they started asking me from where you are reading from what is this, this and i think many friends of from india they started reading bhagavad gita by that status uh, from whatsapp link and they get interested into even uh, very uh, good news is yesterday my brother in law called me and uh, he just previously he was uh, teasing me like oh you are always reading bhagavatam you are always reading gita but yesterday this thing was the opposite he was in uh, new vrindavan and he told like uh, we all family member came here for uh, this weekend and i am very much impressed by the iskon movement previously i was not aware of the the core part of iskon but now i am uh, i am able to understand the concept and i feel within one year or six months he must be in our mission also i believe and third thing is uh, we made a commitment that uh, every night uh, 9:15 to 9:45 will me and my wife both previously my wife was not reading but now just she started uh, listening to the bhagavatam now she is actively listening full uh, our routine is like five pages every day so this wow. three things are माता जी यू कैन शेयर ओके प्रभु जी ओके so prabhu ji uh, i am uh, um, you know l- uh, learning uh, bhagavad gita in morning class and uh, uh, then bhagavatam reading every day in bhagavatam class around eight, at 8 o'clock but i mo- i uh, try to listen to a lecture every day but uh, i do listen but i am more inclined towards music so whenever i'm cooking or doing something <laughs> i just play some bhajans and try to sing them and that's all i do but one thing which i learned after you know the devotee shared in the group that i should also spare some time every day to read at least, at least one shloka or like uh, uh, one page or i mean according to the time, available time so i will try uh, doing that and uh, that's all prabhu ji and then we are i'm reading a uh, lecture uh, of instruction with uh, 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 Natasha Mata Ji, we have just started. I'm on the instructions only, so I hope Lord as teachings of Lord Chaitanya. Sorry, so um, I will be able to finish it soon because uh, uh, if Natasha Mata Ji is taking a class, so I think we'll be able to finish it faster, and it will be uh, I'll be able to understand it more uh, clearly because Mata Ji's concepts about Bhagavad Gita and things are very very clear. and that i understood in one class in, in uh, introduction only so that's all i'm doing prabhu ji and uh, uh, and i think i'll i'll try to do more but uh, i'm not very intelligent and i cannot you know read on my own and understand the actual meaning uh, given by prabhu pad so i'm just trying to you know follow the devotees or join the classes or listen to the lectures to actually understand the correct meaning of the shlokas so but i will try to spare some time and read uh, independently also every day hari krishna hari krishna three times hari bol for rakshita mata ji natasha mata ji hari bol hari bol hari bol all right so who is going to go next urvi do you want to share something no you want to share when you read which book are you reading you are reading krishna book now sometimes once in a while okay all right very good very good prabhu ji vaidehi would like to share her yes vaidehi please go ahead that will be very nice yeah hari krishna hari krishna oh so, like i do the gita class on sunday mornings with natasha aunty and she's like definitely help me understand this so much better and i find it very interesting now because i remember when we first started it last year i kept falling asleep so now i <laughs> i actually enjoy like listening to it and then sunday evenings with shubhalas prabhu ji we have our kids keep 
class. So that's also very interesting. On the Saturday, Saturday, Saturdays, he does the Gita class also for, for the, the everybody. Yeah, for everybody basically. And then like three times a week, uh, I read the Ramayan, and there's like we have a smaller version of it. And I'm rereading it now. I already finished it. It's very interesting to read the stories in the past times of Lord Ram. And I work on my Gita shlokas too every other day. So it's close to 50 top most shloka per vojis. It's almost how many? 45. 45. 45. Three times. Great job. Very good. But the point she is trying to make is, I believe that she has set a routine. This is the time in a week, like three times a week, uh, I do my yoga in the evening. So that time that is assigned to them, they use for the study. So they revise their notes that they take every no every week. So like it's like ten minutes revision of notes, ten minutes recitation of sloka, and ten minutes reading Ramayana. Because if the if so, she has set a routine. So. I think her guru, tell the Subha Parvoji has yeah, helped. Subha Las Parvoji has like explained a lot to us about time management and planning your days and all that. So I do the chanting in the morning with him. Then on the days I have yoga with Subha Las Parvoji in the evening. So for 10 minutes, I read the Ramayan. I do my Gita Shlokas, which also is why I've learned like one time I learned six shlokas because it was getting in my head so quickly and I was able to remember it because I would just spend those 10 minutes. And I, I write my shlokas on like yeah. flashcards. So whenever I'm brushing or getting ready, I see the shlokas in front of me. And then it also works for me. And even when reading the Ramayan, like I got through it because I kept like going back and reading it. Yeah. Amazing. That's so nice. Very good. That's so wonderful. Very bold. Thank you for sharing all those That's details. Cool. All right. Who else would like to share? I think now, oh, Nitya wants to share. Yes. Nitya, go ahead. Your turn. Nitya is raising she her hand. Youngest member, huh? <laughs> or maybe Anika can share. What are you talking about? She just wanted to do say something yes nitya nitya was raising hand i think she wants to tell a shloka nitya can you tell a shloka not right now later. one minute oh my God. okay so in the meantime we'll request anita mataji yes prabhuji how your yes. life has changed in the last couple of years last Few months, Prabhuji. Few months, okay. <laughs> hari, hari. Please because, go ahead. Uh, I shifted to Jackson, uh, where Natasha Mataji, Nirvay Prabhuji, Ravi Prabhuji, you know, all the great uh, devotees uh, of Krishna stays. So it's uh, September 2020, I shifted. Before that, uh, I had uh, no clue about the Gita verses, or let's say, like, you know, what it is called, or even the introduction. So... After shifting here, I definitely got their mercy, Krishna's mercy. And I consider all of them as my guru. Uh, they are listening <laughs> on this call. So all of them are my gurus. And uh, Ravi Prabhuji, the initial conversation I had that day was the Purnima. And he had brought Kheer as Prashad. And we had discussion about reading Gita. And he gave some tips like how I can make progress on reading Gita. And that's how I started. And then, as I was sharing earlier also, Prabhuji, uh, it never stopped until I finished chapter 18. Though I don't remember any verses, but I have finished reading Gita one, one time by myself. And then uh, now I am reading second time with uh, Shubhilas Guruji, or let's say third time with Shubhilas Guruji, and then Natasha Mataji every Sunday. Bhagavatam I am reading with you uh, and all the devotees of Lansing. So that's another, uh, you know, thing happening. Then I'm very much, very much inclined towards Kirtan and the, you know, the bhajans. So I keep remembering and I don't know, it comes from my inside that I should prepare and 
learn and then sing the bhajans in the classes so right now i i have learned uh, uh, jagnath ashtakam i think uh, next time whenever you give me chance or natasha mata ji i will uh, try to sing that because now i i think i'm ready <laughs> from my side so then limitation talking about the limitation i am yet not there uh, with regards to the children uh, i fo- i want to focus on my kids and i want them really want them to you know learn our scriptures as a step i am you know in touch with shubhilas guru ji children are attending their his class on sunday then yoga they are doing yoga classes uh but i'm like i'm feeling that i'm missing very much still not there uh, where i would like them to be so just trying my best prabhuji i need all of your blessings that children should make progress as well in terms of learning our scriptures they are not yet there as of now prabhuji hare krishna thank you anita mata ji three times hari bol for anita mata ji hari hari bol hari bol hari hari bol so mata ji how long it's been for you connected with the devotees now it's september so uh, it's so not even not it, even a year okay yeah six months very good great so <clears throat> certainly you shared very nice uh, points how you are attending different uh, sessions and participating and also your interest in singing so that's definitely a great idea maybe you can sing jagannath ashtakam tomorrow in the conference call tomorrow evening uh, for for our 8 pm conference call if uh, that that works for you so like that all the devotees can identify what things they really like and participate and go deep in that so uh, one thing came upon <clears throat> during uh, this conversation was children how they are being engaged um, so i think ravi prabhu nicely gave one idea how when they are doing yoga he is reading and even though not very actively participating just passively they are hearing listening the stories and things are going in so like that we have to have them somehow develop interest and then connect them to the specific classes like shukulas prabhu or other devotees who are conducting classes in your areas we can try to get them connected that way uh, and now everything is virtual so we can find definitely so many op- opportunities uh, at least online so that would certainly help the children and it's, it's different for different children and we have to see their age group what is their inclination and then we can have more discussion on specifics but reading to the kids is equally if not more important than reading ourselves sometimes some of us we may not be reading but actually when you are reading to the kids you will start learning and they will also passively start gaining so this reading to the children maybe at bed time or some other time if that can be incorporated on regular basis will be very helpful um so even uh, uh, i observed that when i am with my son and i read to him regularly he likes but then sometimes my schedule is so much uh, you know um difficult to incorporate that that he sometimes sleeps before even i am you know i am ready or uh, something so so i think those are some of the areas where uh, we all will need to uh, focus and give attention and if we are attentive then definitely our energy will go in the, that direction and we can make changes so um, for older kids it may be a little bit more difficult because older kids we have to um treat them more like friend than like uh, someone who whom we can you know necessarily read to without their will right if if small child is just lying down or sitting or playing or yoga or anything you are doing they will listen but if they are teenagers especially 
15 16 17 18 they may not spend as much time at home you know maybe they have different courses classes so we have to see how to make, make friendship one of the best ways is uh, way to a man's heart is through the stomach right so best way is to cook nice delicious uh sad and make sure you offer whatever you cook then it will do magic so you cook nicely for krishna offer it maybe some nice cookies maybe some nice uh, uh you know items which they like and then offer to krishna and then that will do wonders so that is uh, how <clears throat> you know we can start seven mukhi jeeva do that krishna consciousness starts by the tongue so tongue obviously means chanting of the holy name but also it means tasting the prasad so taste the prasad and that will help okay so i think we are running short of time um, so i'll keep uh, <clears throat> moving who else would like to share anybody else would like to make any points and share anything soon we are going to have all the kids recite the brahma samhita so kids are all uh, coming so nitya go call your mama ji shrishama ji is there hari krishna mata ji hari krishna mata prabhu ji so mata ji all the kids are uh, star, are here yes prabhu ji urvi i can see let me call anch anch Nivan, are you here? Nivan is not there. Okay, so all the kids Nivan, are you here? Inside the Brahma Samhita. Nivan, Nivan is there. Not Nivan. Okay, so as all the kids are coming, in the meantime, we will open up for any questions or any comments or any points anybody wants to share. Any questions? Prabhu ji, can you share the Brahma Samhita? ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ Okay. So one second, Anish is also coming. So I'll keep going up. Are you okay? 